majority of the taxa so the distinct polyploid theory with euploidy next this is again the tail polypella just see unlike we have seen the nigella lichnothymnus and carafa there is a distinct polyploid so just see this is there is no definite pattern of numerical variation here just see at 12 30, 33 10 11 30 so in there by that unlike the cara and nigella this polypella genus exhibits the predominance of any ploidy and polyploidy is not here just next <clears throat> just see the chromosomes here in the carophytes that uh, about this i will uh, discuss a uh, later on leading the, the cytology but you can see the chromosomes are of quite good size having the distinct constriction showing the position of centromere and here is that 14 14 14 all that so chromosome well organized chromosome this is the case with the iske niche hoga kara kara is this is the all the chromosomes showing the counting uh, kara next this kachari and sundara lingam and maris dubot advocated for kitophorelian kitophorelian origin of carophytes on account of its close similarity with dapridopsis in regard to the thallus organization just i tell you just that vegetative thallus of this carophytes have a well organized well organized Branch thallus having the dimorphic forms, the branches of only uh, limited growth arising from the nodes. The branches there is differentiation of the nodes and internodes like the higher plants. The branches of limited and unlimited growth both arising from the nodal region. So it, it, it shows the similar pattern of thallus organization. What we see in case of dapridal diopsis of chytophores. in dapridal diopsis also the thallus the, the difference between dapridal dia and dapridal diopsis this that although dapridal dia is also highly branched but having no differentiation of the short and long cell short nodal cell and the long internodal cells in case of dapridal dia but it is seen clear cut in case in seen in case of the dapridal diopsis and in this uh, context it is most very close and comparable with the thallus organization of the carophytes just see this is the natural uh, uh, thallus of the cara showing its mode of branching these are the sort uh, limited branches and unlimited yard this is the case with the cara this is the shear organs the same very clear cut uh, i will show you next slide there is clear cut multicellularity the organization of the uh, uh, this shear organs the yellowish color denoting the nucleus and the yellow uh, below the red is clear is and globule that is equivalent to antheridium the c up ever with the corona it is one uh, for number of five and it is added only unicellular one layer corona this is the characteristic of the cari and cara and just above nucleus below is globule this is the characteristic of the cara this is again the cara during the cell cell is the multicellular nature of this um, antheridium that is globule and just see the tube cells around the um, um, egg and upper the corona cell which is arranged in one tar you will see uh, this tar corona cell will be having 10 in two tars once uh, by cellular um, um, corona cell in case of the nitella <coughs> just see this is the like lichnothymnus in growing in natural habitat 
so it belongs to the uh, this uh, Kari tribe. You can be close to Kara. This is Tanaitela. Just see, this is also equally well or uh, branched, having the dimorphic branching showing. So this is the Naitela. Tell us about the Naitela. This is about the tulip. How beautiful it represents. Uh, in accurately, uh, accurately, you can see very good growth and have of ornamental appearance inside the. It always grows in fresh water. You can see very clear cut organization of the thallus in deep in the water. This is again the tolipella. This is just see, Desi Kachari, who advocated its uh, derivation of the keto forest on the basis of the similarity of just see the hair is laterally showing the branches of limited yet like that it is uh, just a clump of heavily uh, branched thallus of the daffodil of Cisco, resembling very much with the habit of the Kara um, and Nitella and that's why it's uh, phylogenetic relationship shown with the ketophorals and with the caropods. So this is just the morphological appearance that uh, that uh, resemble very much. This is the branching uh, pattern of the uh, dapyrin diopsis in case of the dapyrin diopsis. This is the dapyrin idea. Just see. There is no differentiation done. Although branches are coming out, but coming out with not differentiated shorter and no longer cells. Shorter cells are the nodal cells. That differentiation of short and not uh, long cell is not here in the case of Dapranaldia. This is the only difference. This is again Dapranaldia showing the branching habit. This is again the Dapen LDR. So you can see there is no differentiation of the short and long cells, unlike the Dapen LDR. This is the difference that in case of the uh, Dapen LDR, it is differentiated short nodal cells from which the branches come out, and here the long not coming out from the long cell. Here there is no such differentiation of the nodal and internodal cells. Just see. This is about what we have seen, that is the external resemblance. But when we come to the cytological level, you can see just how short, very minute chromosomes here. Just how minute chromosomes here, here just very small, is made not at all comparable with any way with the scarophytes. Even, even you can't see. The centrum hair hardly you can just measure it so short. So it's the cool. unlike the carophytes, ketophorels, in spite of having close similarity morphologically, it is quite dissimilar in case of its chromosomes. Also, also one thing, just the chromosome number hair. Don't follow any just definite pattern of variations that is in multiple of any basic num uh, chromosome number. So all basic chromosome number is altogether absent in case of the dapyrin diopsis. This is the another cause of difference between the two. Here, just see this is the stereoclonium, another member of the ketophorels. It is also well characterized with highly prong thallus, but the chromosome here is again in a very small, very small, and even centromere is not detectable. Hard, you can just uh, even you can't assume where is centromere is so short. This is the chromosome showing the data different options. You can see how minute structures here are. You can't 
if we say where is um, centromere, very small. So this is all together quite different from the carophytian chromodomes. There is no resemblance between the ketophorals and the carols as regards the psychological features. Again, it is the Dapildiopsis chromodome. This is again the chromodome of Dapildiopsis. Now, the carological data of carophytes and Dapildiopsis However, do not support hypothesis of Caraphatian origin of the, for the reasons, <coughs> derivation of large chromodomes, chromodomes of Caraphyta from various small chromodomes of Ketophoral seems impossible. You can just assume any, you can dream of the derivation of a small chromodomes from the bigger chromodomes. But it seems very impossible, but it's a very minute still. Uh, chromosomes would have given rise to very long and established, well organized centromeric chromosomes. It appears uh, unlikely. Polyploidy is predominating means of numerical variation in Caraphyta, while aneuploidy is a common feature of ketophorins. Just tell you. I have shown you again. there is no any definite pattern of numerical variation in the uh, chromosome number of ketophoils to two, three, seven, ten, nine, irrelevant uh, variations without any definite pattern. But in carophyte, you, there are two series of variations. One is uh, the barren, uh, the tolypha line, which the new hand employed is prevalent. The two genera have a distinct polyploid serial in multiple of its basic number six or three in case of light any or seven in case of tolipeni. Carry. Caraphytes bear most primitive haploid life cycle and definitely process isomorphic alternation of generation derivation of river in reverse direction. Don't seem convinced, although just I'm, I'm describing here that the uh, plant body is haploid. Although I told you there is no confirmation of any meiosis or the diploid phase in carophytes, although that we assume since it is uh, being counted in the um, uh, sex organs, nuclear and global. And the same chromosome number is counted in the vegetative thallus. Of course, most of the studies more, uh, have been made on the chromosome of the nuclear uh, anterior filaments. But where there are a few people who have worked also on the vegetative thallus chromosome, some of the vegetative thallus of the carophytes, so perhaps. Samitre and Pavi Chatterjee in West Bengal, they have worked. And the same chromosome number is seen in both cases. On that basis, it is supposed that the thallus is haploid. And if it's so, the thallus of carophytes is haploid, whereas the diopsis possesses isomorphic alteration generation, in which both the haploid and diploid generation is equally established derivation in a reverse direction doesn't seem convincing. The derivation of primitive haploid life cycle from isomorphic alternation of generation in a reverse direction doesn't appear convincing. Therefore, whatever we see the similarity in morphological organization of the carophytes and between the carophytes and the uh, ketophorian members like the Dapnidia, Dapnidiopsis, Stegoclonia, all the forms are not, uh, of course, ketophora, most of the forms are uh, well branched. So that similarity appears only due to the parallelism. Uh, parallelism is a very common feature in this, uh, in the algae as a whole. Affinity of Caraphyta with green algae by earlier workers also seems not convincing. 
position of well organized chromosomes with distinct localized centromere and prevalence of polyploidy observed in carophyta favor its closeness more than higher plants than with green algae in general that I, we have discussed that if at all any similarity is to be made then it, you can compare the chromosome of carophyta with the higher plants in which we see the distinct polyploidy distinct localized centromere quite distinct uh, big size of the chromosomes in all that cases in a state of resembling with a general green algae which is in which case there is prevalence of aniploidy the chromosomes are very minute but it's very close to the higher plants in which the, the just like the carophytes it is having the well organized centromere big size distinct polyploid series systematic position of carophytes has been a point of dispute from very beginning pelinia secundus describe it as a species of ecology just we have seen just we have seen in the last slides it is just like the ecogitum like the ecogitum too having the so long and short so and the nodal the branches came out comes out of two types so exactly like that because of probably because of that external similarity morphological similarity pelinia secundus proposed its derivation the uh, placement along with the equidetum adenson describe it along with har plants quite similar uh, similar the mithers and gross similarity psychological similarity being very close to the har plants so probably due to that adenson proposed is presentation uh, uh, post allocation along with the higher plants stras barigal kept it under thallophyta between bryophyta and algae fresh and is we did that a grade the order and class of green algae <clears throat> ud and yamahi and van den hack treated it as an independent division carophyta on the bay apparently one is very much convinced that there was to place it independently because of many characters that see we have seen the thallus organization so elaborated thallus organization branching elaborated branching habit the erect thallus and all that uh the chromosomes organization localization of uh, distinct localized uh, centromere position of this basic number prevalence of all these characters it is quite although you, it resembles with a higher pass but it's not possible to place it along with the higher pass we'll have to keep it with gallic algae and uh, vida algae but with a independent status that would and everybody and when they given that especially status to this carophyte a force it carophytical features of carophytes do not have match with any other group of chlorophytian except cladophores of course if at all you feel are comparing it So in on the basis of the psychology, if you are if there is any resemblance of this carophytes, there is resemblance with the cladophores in which there is a distinct that we, uh, I will show you the slides. The it, this cladophores is also although the unbranched filaments thus general there, but the branched filamentous genera also prevails in the cladophores. not only that <clears throat> when you will see the chromosomes that we we'll see in subsequent uh, subsequent slides you will see that the chromosomes are quite bigger and good size having a distinct centromere just as we have seen 
in case of the caro flight. So if at all any similarity is to seek with the, any other group of the green algae, it is only cladophorals, so with it, it can be compared. Cladophorals possess equally well-organized chromosomes with localized centromere and predominance of polyploidy. In cladophorals, the component texts are united more coherently through a single basic number six as against two basic numbers six and seven representing two different types of the order category. That, that actually that just I'm coming to the one fact. If at all you are taking the cardiology as the basis of comparison, then you can say the cladophorals is more stable having a single, all the genera are knit together with a single basic chromosome number. But when you will come to the clarifies, we'll see psychologically it is just a heterogeneous in liquid. When you are taking that, we will show you later. The lichno, when we are taking that lichnothymus, it is having no aniploidy, distinct polyploidy. When you will see <coughs> the Cara and Nitella, these two genera having a distinct and pre uh, predominance of the polyploidy, but the endoploidy you can see in exceptional cases. And then you will, when you are coming to the Tolipella, there is no polyploidy, the predominance of aniploidy. So psychologically, you cannot say it is a coherent group, it is diverse in nature. But in case of the cladophorals, psychologically, it is more stable and coherent group, all being all the genera, knit together with only one basic chromosome number. <clears throat> Just see, this is the uh, image of the cladophora showing the branchy habit, resembling the carophytes. You see, this is the, these are the two species of the uh, cladophora showing heavy branching compared with the carophytes. You see, <coughs> this is the chromosome of the cladophora intermedia. You can see that's just like we have seen the carophytes. Equally, just at par with it, the chromosomes are quite big size, having a ticket. A clear cut indication of the centromeric locations. So, in this respect, it is more closer to the carophytes other than any other members of the chlorophyte. Chlorophyte. Here, this is the chloro chlorophora, uh, cladophora um, uh, farcata. Here, just you see, this here is also just uh, chromosomes are quite bigger, having a distinct indication of the centromeric location. This is the right way, like a chromium. That is, that's of course, this is the unbranched filament, the thallus of this rhizochrome, like unplanned filaments, but having the same predominance of the polyploidy and well organized chromosomes. There is no genetic variations in regard to the organization of the chromosomes or the location of the centromeres and uh, predominance of eploidy. This is again the rhizochronium showing the big, uh, the bending showing the position of the central mass, so quite similar to the carophytes. <coughs> so, if any effort is made to separate carophyta from the class chlorophyte exclusively on cardiological ground, the cladophorals deserve same treatment which doesn't seem justified. Of course, it is. It can be claimed on the basis of the <coughs> psychological data, but alone psychological data cannot make the basis of such a big decision. When Garofita, behind, besides this psychological images, you have seen the organization, the biophytic mode of diminution of the diode, and <coughs> For me, the formation of the complex cells. These are the points which makes the carophytes are quite different, and that sort of things we don't see 
in chloroform. So I, I, in my opinion, it's not advisable to place it under the independent division carophyta along with the carophyta, that is the chloroforophyta. Not, I disagree, and it cannot be compared in this regard with the carophyta for placing the, uh, giving the special status. <coughs> carophyta includes four families, Trochilisiaceae, Cdaceae, Clanotosidaceae, and Caraceae. Of all these four classes, Family. Three are belongs to the fossil members, and the caracy is only representing the living member of the four first three are fossil forms, and last one living form represented by eight genera, Cara, Protochira, Lycnothymus, oh, belong to the tribe Cari, and Nitella, Tolipella, Caropsis, Lanthrothymus. And Nitellopsis belongs to Nitella. Of all these eight, most frequently psychologically analyzed genera are Cara and Nitella, to a some extent Tolipella and Lycnothamnus. Two very few of the species have been psychologically investigated, not the protocol. The other groups are not well studied in the artery's chromosome organization. Basis of genetic distinction, number of crown cells, five in one tire in Caria and ten in two tires, just I have shown you the corner one tire uh, denoting the caresso exactly. In case of data, the corona remains the same position, but in a state of unicellular, it becomes bicellular two, so number of cells becomes in state of five. It becomes two, and again, in a state of being arranged in one tire, it is being arranged in two tires. Corticate or ecorticate? Nitelli. Nitelli is completely ecorticate, but there exists a wide variation in regard to the cortication and ecortication in case of the carry. Monopodial or sympodial, the mode of branching two, uh, are the basis of. Um, genetic differentiation, distinction, disposition of antheridia and uogonia. Just I have showed you the nuclei in uh, Cara nucleus is above and uh, globuli is lower, just reverse in Nitella, in Tolipella, in a state of uh, having one, each state having one globule and antheridia, it is having two. So these are on the basis of the disposition of. Six sex organs and theridia and uogonia, the genetic distinctions are made. <clears throat> Regan et al. advocates for inclusion of cara and natella together in a single tax on carols and caracy, or caracy on the basis of the 18 SRNA gene sequencing. Cardiological data, basic numbers, support their separation in two different types under the order carries proposed on the basis of distinct morphological and character that, that we are seeing just on molecular level everything becomes molecular so at that level that differentiation may may be lacking but when we see the <coughs> distinction of the two distinct basic number of the carry and nitella, then we cannot agree with the <coughs> convergence of these two genera into one. So uh, it is cardiological interference is more convincing and supporting. <coughs> the tribe carry, although exhibits wide range of morphological variations underneath, <coughs> Cardiologically appears to be new natural assemb <coughs> <coughs> assemblage and a stable being knit. Yeah. Uh, promote. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Thank you.
<coughs> the tribe carry, although it is a wide range of morphological variations underneath, cardiological appears to be natural similar and a stable being knit together conservatively with single base. And just we have seen the <coughs> morphologically, although quite variations occurs within the cardi, can liquid thymus and all that. <coughs> but psychologically, it moves coherent because only one basic number is there. But when we come to Nightly, we see the type of does follow any definite uh, basic number and the aneuploidy is prevalent. But Nitella, there is so that Nitelli compared to the carry, Nitelli appears to be less uh, <coughs> natural assemblage rather than the carry. The tribe Nitelli, on the other hand, doesn't seem to be natural assemblage cardiologically <coughs> on account of its controversial basic chromosome number. Giret. <coughs> For Nitelli, just I told you, the thing is one basic number anonymously accepted for Ken. But Nitelli, it has been Gillet, proposed six as the basic number in Nitella. Imauri and Kato proposed six and seven as the basic number. Hotchkiss proposed six and nine as basic number. It is Sarma and Khan suggested basic number of <clears throat> The genus Nitella has three, claiming the existence of two distinct sets of three chromosomes. See that if added to the Sarma and Khan, then we can just <coughs> establish the truth of true polyploid series in case of the Nitella, and if you assume that three is basic number, then in the, as against the general assumption that the cauliflower, the carrier, carry group is more able in regard to the attaining high polyploid level, goes wrong, then Nitella will become more hard polyploid in showing the higher high degree of polyploid. <coughs> Tolipola, just told you, prevalence of aneuploidy as against usual predominance of polyploidy, the carophyta as a whole. Variable basic numbers have been proposed for the genus Tolipola as below. Just here we have, don't have any definite pattern in, of chromosome number variation in Tolipola. So it's just useless to uh, Go for any basic name, however, girl's skin, girl's skin has proposed the five or ten for the as a basic number for the Talipella. Hotchkiss has proposed eleven and Shava has proposed as three. But to me, it doesn't neither of the any basic number comes true because it's highly any ploddy and there is no any distinct series. So a few uh, polyploid studies, short polyploid studies can be seen, but not like that. Uh, now, how the polyploids, I uh, see the, 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 the carophyte shows quite predominance of polyploidy and how this polyploidy is attained in the carophyta, just these are the region non negotiable meiosis in the US pore carrying non hemolytic genomes or through chromosomes doubling during some stages of ugonial development in Cara Canessens. This was told by Tyndall and Sava in 1964. Due to doubling of chromosomes in the anterior filaments, this was postulated by Tyndall and Sava and Imari and cartoon in the polyploidy in certain cells of anterior filaments of cara leptopitis may be the cause of polyploidy as conceived by hot uh, hot in hot, hot in kiss. <clears throat> After analyzing the karyotypes of Nitella opaca, 
and with N6 and N flexilis, N6 and 12, Sava 1965, concluded origin of N flexilis due to the hybridization between N opaca and an unknown species of Nitella with N6. <clears throat> Caraphytes resemble with high plants, showing chromosomes with localized distinct centromeres and predominance of uniplidae, aplidae, euplidae, but differ from higher plants where reduction in chromosome size is pre adaptation for polyplidae. The caraphytes display long polyploid series with large chromosomes. The reason behind it has been given, may be given that the short life and fast vegetative propagation probably render the carophyte to adapt polyplots unhindered even with large chromosomes. <clears throat> Goreskin, 1967, and Sharma and Ramji, after assessing the frequency and degree of polyploidy concluded Cara is well ahead with 58% eploidy against only 38.5% in Nitella. If we assume three as a basic number of then this uh, conclusion will go wrong. A striking feature of Caraphyta is that its single taxon, the most difficult part, that prevails in the caraphyte is the striking feature of caraphyte is that a single taxon may exist at different ploidy levels in nature without any appreciable morphological changes in contrast to higher plants. Such polyploids have been called cryptic polyploid by Davis and how just this is very interesting. I just uh, in uh, table we have uh, we have shown. There are two peculiarities of the caraphytes. One thing, that is the same chromosome number with insignificant and very uh, non-relevant karyotypic uh, uh, differentiation. It can, it's shared by a large number of the taxons. That's what we say we have seen the 14 is shared by a number, huge number of the taxa. And when you will go to the karyotype details, then you will find not much taxonomical level difference lies in between them. So this is the <clears throat> and another thing in higher plants, when higher plants having the high polyploidy gives the morphological exaggeration, but not the lower polyploids, but as against that, when you will see the uh, uh, examples of the caraphyta, I will see even the 70 chromosome number varying filaments remains the same in outlook, with, which is bearing only the 40 years. So there is no morphological exaggeration in case of the caraphyta, and that's why it has been termed a cryptic polyplants by Davis and Hewitt. <clears throat> Predominance of uniploidy in caraphyte, just I told you the nucleotidus, having no aniploid polyploid for reporting. Cara and Nitella having the occasional occurrence of aniploidy and tolipella, predominance of aniploidy. Though Aniploidy is not a common feature of caraphyta in general, yet emphasis has been given on its key role in generic evolution and that of eploidy in speciation. Just see, <clears throat> in Talipella we have seen irrelevant variations not having following any difference. So any number can be and, uh, because of the pre uh, predominance of aniploidy in case of Talipella. So any number can be supposed to be derived in 
the form of the basic level six or basic level three or basic level seven. So it is when we trace, <coughs> take the aneuploidy, we can assume that might have played a good role in the genetic differentiation of in caryophytes. But when we are taking the specific level, it is the polyploidy which plays a significant role in caryophyta. <coughs> Another cardiological feature of caryophytes that come in the way of taxonomical treatment is sharing of same chromosome number by different taxa with almost overlapping cardiological features. I told you the same number. You will see a large number of the taxa sharing the same number. When you will go with a morphological study of the individual chromosomes in the cryotope, adhering to the classical observation, then you will hardly see any taxonomically significant variation in that character. So that's a very difficult part. The only way any device should be developed nowadays, the banding has been developed in case of the study of chromosome study. But unfortunately, not that banding practices have been implied in case of only the provision and the uh, uh, supervision of Chatterjee, Praveen Chatterjee and Shamit Ray. They, uh, I find only one reference that they attempted the Jimsa banding in case of the Kara. The and Ray, in the year 1986, attempted Jimsa C banding in Kara Bronai forma perotetiae in to differentiate the chromosome complement of karyotype with characteristic banding pattern of its own. So it is the only reference I we get uh, of practices of banding in uh, carophyte. Just see, <clears throat> this is the part of the publication of Kateri and Shabitre. This is, this is, this is sort of banding. Practices are implied and in uh, majority of the carophytes, then we can able to differentiate that Similarity of uh, similar chromosome sharing the different by the different uh, taxa, you can differentiate that character on the basis of this uh, uh, bending pattern. But unfortunately, it is it passed almost thirty five years that this practice was adopted and published. And thereafter, so far my knowledge goes, no banding study has been made in the caryophytes. I think this will be, this will give a greater solution, greater relief in resolving that sort of overlapping and confusing facts. No positive correlation had we reported between chromosome number and any morphological features of taxonomical importance at inter or intra specific level. There is no, any problem. if you want to uh, correlate the chromosome number with any morphological trait, particularly the tile or and, and uh, arthrodactyly and uh, the, the sex organ position, uh, then, then you will fail. You will find no correlation, a statistically significant correlation altogether absent. Few of the basic characters on which <coughs> taxonomy of the caryophytes are based and their phylogenetic implications have been debatable are resolved with karyotypic data. Monoecious versus diaceous. The monoecious, it is assumed, wood and emaudi. 
Dacious forms are genetic variant of monoecious forms being possessing double chromosome number than dacious. According to what he says, he assumes that dacious is having the half number of the chromosome than the monoecious. But we'll see it, does, it is not true. Sava suggested origin of Nitella flaxis. Monoecious with N12 originated through hybridization between two diocese taxa carrying chromosome number N6 each. Tindal and Sava, Hotchkiss 63, Khan and 67, however, reported same chromosome number in monoecious and diocese form. So all assumptions goes wrong if we are aware of it. And adhering to the findings of the Tyndall, Sava, Khan, and Sarma, and Hotchkiss. My student Love also not recorded any correlation of carrier morphological features with distribution of sex organs in Tarophytes. Verma. Under the one project, DST project, I also conducted the survey. Uh, taxonomical survey and psychological survey of caryophytes of North Bihar, and then I could also see since there is no record of sex linked chromosome uh, heteromorphism, sex expression in caryophytes in in the molecular level. That's it. Cortical corticate versus Ecoticate. <coughs> Carologists are divided over the phylogenetic status of corticate and ecoticate forms in Cary, Wormersley, and Offel, and Kasaki consider ecoticate forms primitive, whereas Desikachari and Sundaralingam and Uda and Imahari consider ecoticate forms. Advanced. Sharma et al. Corticate forms are advanced on account of fairly high frequency of polyploidy. Love. Ecoticate forms are primitive on the basis of the symmetry of karyotype, that is, minimum coefficient of variation among the chromosome complement of karyotype and TF percent. TF percent. Now, to me, <coughs> now, now to me, if we are adhering just previous pages, we, uh, slides, I have uh, uh, concluded that the aneuploidy play a significant role on the genetic differentiation. Then the aneuploidy, if at all, it is. Uh, it gave rise to the uh, formation of new genera from through aneuploidy. Then the aneuploidy is prevalent in Tolipella, the characters are more unstable in regard to the ploidy. It is highly aneuploid, and from that, very easy to derive a basic, any basic number for the carry and nitella. So, to me, I support the ecoticate as primitive. <coughs> Haploestiphenous and diploestiphenous. Diploestiphenous forms are advanced than haploestiphenous forms. On the basis of on the basis of the symmetry of karyotype such as smaller chromatin length followed by higher coefficient of variations among chromosome complement of the karyotype concluded advanced <coughs> advancement of diploestiphenous from forms over the haploestiphenous forms, however, both forms is called equal TA person. So there is no very convincing conclusion. Uh, An arthrodactyly versus arthrodactyly. 
Uda ni Mauri consider as an atron that tiny more than once and Sanma and Ramji are artho dectally on account of his scoring hard frequency of Paul Plyde is comparatively advanced. Love. In conclusion, even after analyzing keratype of more than 50 texts of keratype, <clears throat> Thank you very much for bearing me and for excusing me for late presentations and especially to Mr. P Professor Perumal who might have faced many trouble due to my late arrival, uh, arrival for presentation. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. That was a nice, great session. And the, uh, I have to be grateful to you and the audience. They were also like uh, too much patient to wait for the session. And even though we had a lot of technical issues, and finally we uh, concluded the session with the great uh, things. And there are some of the um, these things are like um, questions. So can you answer them, sir? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm open for that. So, what are the major challenges nowadays on carophyte research? Main challenges is I told you, just I told you. Okay. <coughs> when I, you mean the psychologically or morphologically? Psychologically, the main challenge is that there is quite a large number of the taxa are sharing the same chromosome number with indistinct conventional morphological details. So its bending pattern only can give you the answer to this question. The main challenge is that. Second challenging is that <coughs> even if the, the carophytes are uh, attaining a high degree of uh, <coughs> polyploidy, but with no morphological manifestation, how takes place? Why, when the duplication, 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 and so on, it leads to the morphological enlargement of the morphological parts, why not it is taking place in this uh, carophytes, I don't know. Second thing, we just say, going on saying this is haploid, haploid, haploid. But uh, till now, the main challenge I see, the establishment is of its uh, diploid phase. It has not been so far established in case of the carify. So I, to me, these three points are very challenging and needs further investigation and key intention. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. And um, what is the impact of water quality on carophytes and uh, also the pH impacts on carophytes? What are the impacts of water quality and pH of impacts on and, carophytes? Uh, <coughs> They, that, that part has not been done by you, but the carophytes are the freshwater lover. And in freshwater Hawaii, it, it has been reported, it proliferates more fastly than any aquatic high plant site. It, it makes a predominance over it. So the freshwater, sweet water, is preferred, preferred by these carophytes. Thank you, sir. And uh, and is like uh, reactive oxygen that like that also they have asked. But we'll skip that question. How to separate chromosomes from these algae? Like uh, this cytological study, how you are doing, sir? Can you explain that methodology or something? Separation of the chromosomes. Yes, sir. Chromosome. May, looking under my microscope, how we are doing that cytological study? No, no, it's no, it's separation. It's very simple if you are doing it with the anti globule. 
normally it is done with globule globule has even softer filaments than your anti anteridium stamens so it's very simple more difficulty is that that it is in very close uh, discoid cells are present there with very dull uh, delicate cells even if, if you are making a more pressure then one metaphase will mix with other so it's very simple and gentle gentle pressing requires not much tapping it's very simple to explain yeah. but when you are doing it with a vegetative talus a lot of double lot of treatments and uh, will be needed to just to uh, uh, out the uh, treatments the photochip uh, photosynthetic products and all that so that part has not been done by me but i assume some works have been done on the vegetative talus of the chromosomes of the vegetative talus but it might be involving lot of table but apparently because of the clearance of the uh, pigments photoreserve uh, the cellular uh, the thick cell wall that uh, even strong tapping will not admit the spreading of the chromosomes so when you are doing normally it is done with a globule not nickel globule globule is very just you will have to under detective microscope you will have to operate the, with a needle to bring out the anteridium just take a drop of uh, ferric uh, acetylcholine with the ferric chloride to be treated with the ferric ferric chloride and then put it on the slide and press it very gently not very hard then and it will apparently it will burst and spread that anteridial filaments just like the uh, unicellular filaments delicate filaments and within that you will find the chromosomes the precaution should be given not much pressing should be done otherwise one metaphase will merge with the other and the make the counting very difficult this is the major part otherwise very simple it's very simple okay thank you sir you yeah, explained it very deep in detail and uh, there is one more question okay and thanks sir so people are posting so many so it's running okay sir and Professor, Professor Sundar Lingam has identified a few varieties of Chiara Silanica. Recently, I have collected a few samples which differ morphologically from these. Variations also observed in some of Zeusport. That is, uh, scanning electron microscopy studies also showing the differences, and also molecular studies also confirm it. Can these be considered as new varieties? Let's see. you might have seen in cad that's why the nuclear cycles i told you were undertaken that i told you due to this because of uh, the very minute morphological variations new varieties even the very uh, genus species varieties forma and so on so it's so this is just a um, magical practices is uh, very difficult sometimes the people are uh, separate de- uh, recognizing many varieties uh, uh, many forma under varieties and all well, and sometimes you will feel that all are uh, being am- amalgamated so it is just a very dramatic uh, scene in case of the carophytic taxonomy and that's why the car- cytology was undertaken but the, in the case of the cytology also <clears throat> that overlapping and the sharing prevails even in such also so new approach will have to adapt whether the just as it is the banding or any other type or if you now uh, molecular level the people have done molecular level or sometimes 
the DNA extraction is taken and again then uh, estimation is made. So all that, that, that part has not been covered by me, but that part might be helpful. But apparently in case of the chromosome number, the same degree of controversy and confusion prevails when you are coming to the psychological data. So you are saying someone getting the uh, a small variation and suggested it is that with this is a new form under this variety and all and unless you are not I, I tell you one example uh, once I had gone to a rural area and passing through the pedestrian uh, road which was muddy and just uh, and, and then I found a moss like structure something growing there and when I when I took it in hand and observed in the laboratory I found I found that was the member of the carophyte so much so much morphological uh, deformation has gone there I mean if anyone people is uh, taking describing it oh it is a new form so this is the practice you can't help I don't say why, what to say, but it is very confusing and even the aquatic habit is itself an unstable medium. And that unstable medium provides basic various types of the ecological variations and these ecological variations affects the morphological, morphological manifestations of the carophyte, not only the carophytes, but others in other algae because simply the variation will take place only in the dimension of the cells. But here there are so many morphological traits, ductiles, nails, that, many things. So any short change can be expected with minute ecological variations and on that basis if we are suggesting new forma i think this is a, not a good practice okay sir <laughs> and uh, like uh, how to identify the carophyte species uh, species level identification Identification, the, the, the measurement of the globule, locule, the, the ductile nature, strip loops, arrangement, and all that. There are very big uh, band of morphological characters we have in carophyte. So, very, all the measurements should be perfect. And <clears throat> I tell you, if, if it also should be mentioned the conditions from where the about the ph about the uh, habitat condition whether it was dry muddy or aquatic summer or floating so that should be maintained and then minor variation should be avoided on the basis of the minor variations one should propose a new variety and new Pharma and all that. I am against you. you minor radiations, even if we are here, and if I go to Madras and living some few years, then apparent change will take place in me. So, on that basis, that I cannot be changed that BN11, BN112. That, that's, not, that's not a good thing. Normally, until unless you have not thoroughly if you grow it, that's I have seen the Dependopsis, when it is growing, it's showing a, so much highly bronze thallus. And if you take to the laboratory and go in the laboratory, it will turn into the unicellular form. What to say then? Then you just give a, uh, you also might have seen the cytomeric, tapering cytomeric. No. Uh, that was a developmental stage. Yeah. That was later uh, they discovered that that happening. Uh, Cytomeres is not a new uh, 
species, that is, it just developmental stage of particular species. So these minor variations should be avoided, measured, better the statics have evolved, uh, evolved a number of principles. So you take out the, uh, prepare the exhaustive data of all the morphological data, and then you statistically analyze it. And after analyzing, if you are observing that character statistically significant, only then you can propose any new thing. To me, it's my uh, personal view. So, like, is there any key or monograph for anything, Caropite, sir? Like, well established yeah, monograph, key, like, key, monograph, monograph or key? I, my student also gave a key that's very good key has been provided by Udani Mahuri. So, Udani And like, ma what about the molecular status, sir? Like, molecular studies, are they reliable on matter of caropides? No, 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 I have not uh, gone through that molecular level caropide. It is the work of my students, and after that, it, uh, I have not worked on this caropide. And molecular level, uh, especially in Bihar, I am working in Bihar, North Bihar. It's not laboratory is not so much developed even the refined uh, chemical test is not possible here and just i'm now 80 years very well i'm 80 81 how what you is? expect now how much <laughs> expect from me <laughs> i just uh, uh, mr chogli might have told you yes sir uh, i'm very uh, Ah, no, that's no, that's no, why no, I, the, the the commitments and concerns that yes, I am writing. I have just completed many points. So, uh, but I have gone through the molecular level, every conception of the, this uh, uh, central medical knowledge. When you will go to the molecular level, parable, then you uh, discard everything and you will <laughs> get in another world. So it's 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 another world. <laughs> I have seen, I have seen, by the writing I could say that the prokaryotes, you say the central male is not nowhere, it get attacked with the cell wall and then it moves. Molecular level it has been established in that cell wall, the central medical organization that uh, sequencing molecular level, it is equivalent to the centromere. So then the whole conception of pericord, when you are going at that level, the whole conception of pericord and eukaryotes go that's invalid. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm not too much aware of that. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And what about the economic value of caropex, sir? Is there any economic, social economic values? Economical well, it, mosquitoes, it repels mosquitoes and all that, but not economically, it's not very strong. That's, that's why the Jesse work stopped just after Vice uh, R.K. Sharma and I retired thereafter. No work is going on in Carafites. Have you seen anywhere working? Because Every now every agency wants the economical the benefit. Economical benefit, yes, sir. <laughs> so naturally, no. it, since it is not having so much biological value, any only value. economical value they provide. Uh, they they provide the economic they, value, no they, biological value. Uh, they, fa they finance it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it was a great session, sir. So I think we can conclude this session. So I am here to Thank propose the vote of thanks. Thank the you. second session of Ari International Algal Webinar for the promotion of algology. I would like to thank our special guest, 
professor b n verma sir for readily accepting our invitation and delivering an insightful presentation the in depth knowledge of professor b n verma in the field of caryophytes and their taxonomy has inspired all the participants the lecture was extremely useful and he showed all the uh, chromosomes pictures and the karyotyping pictures many things those were like very That's interesting amazing. and the photograph of morphological morphology of cara was also too good and many things he explained in very in detail those thing all useful to the audience many audience were actively participated in the webinar and asked queries those queries were well explained by the professor b n verma sir so i would like to thank professor b n verma sir once again for his wonderful lecture and here i take this opportunity to thank professor b b chowdhury sir for being backbone of me for arranging webinars with such great personalities without his support this session would not have been reached this height thank you sir i also wish to thank our audience for their great interest in the session and also for patiently listening to the speaker i thank you all once again for your support with and last but not least i would like to thank board of director and other staff members of ari for supporting me in con continuously arranging consecutive webinar sessions thank you all sir thank you so much sir you have spent almost like you traveled 80 k kilometers for uh, this webinar and uh, thank you so much sir you took lot of trouble <laughs> for us <laughs> That, that that is partly due to the confusion and partly yes, due to the failure of yes, uh, internet failure often happens very much thank you thank yes, you thank you thank you, thank you, thank, you thank you thank you very much well, sir yes, sir thank you sir thank you so much sir so i hope everyone got the feedback form so people are asking what is the attendance fin i did not indicate any attendance fin and uh, don't tell me that i don't uh, when you submit the attendance form while filling the attendance itself it was shown here below the pin for feedback form like that and after submission it will be shown in the submission screen and also after it will be like if you have opted to so